What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Miss, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful TGIF. And I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, you guys? Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the horizon. Now, as you guys already know, the Whether You Like It or Not panel is every Monday night. That's every Monday night at 8.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Time, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, okay? And um, we will be back on my platform this upcoming Monday, so make sure you guys tune in. Make sure you guys are ready, 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 honey, because, uh, yeah, we're in the building. So we'll be right back here where it all starts, right here on my platform, all right? And then um, make sure you guys are on the lookout for Boys Night Out, okay? Uh, we'll be back this summer, okay? And um, we will be coming together in about a few weeks to talk about this upcoming show, this upcoming season rather, and we are intended on giving you guys a great show, a really shady, funny, you know, hilarious, thought-provoking type of show, okay? We want to come back stronger for season four because, you know, we are our own biggest critics and, and we're just here to give you guys the best show that we know how. So make sure you guys tune in to that um, later on this summer. It's probably going to be like late August, early September. So that is when you can really... Um, be ready for this um, particular show. Um, so I cannot wait for us to come together and really do this show. All right. So hold on, you guys. Let me make sure because I almost forgot something. All right. So also besides Boys Night Out, let's get into something else that you guys need to look forward to. And that is Roast and Review, honey. Yes, indeed. Roast and Review will be back. Myself, Terrence, and Josiah. And we will be back to discuss Love and Hip Hop ATL. So make sure you guys tune in to that. Also, I do live reviews on the Real Housewives of Atlanta every Sunday night right after the show. So make sure you guys tune in to that as well. With that being said, you guys okay we're about to go ahead and get into the mess now as you guys already know we've been talking about the real housewives of atlanta quite a bit over here on scotty by nature tv and we've been covering every single morsel of housewives tea all right and um we're about to go ahead and get into this um sneak peek that um is coming up this sunday for the real housewives of atlanta and it's basically a scene from candy and sandia where candy pretty much calls sandia out for basically riding the fence okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the audio because i don't want no copyrights okay so we're gonna play this audio honey and then after we play this audio we're gonna go and um and and, and i'm gonna give my opinion on this particular scene from what we saw and then i expect you guys to give your opinion on the scene that we uh just listened to you know in the comment section so with that being said we're about to go ahead and get into this scene let's take a look at it y'all You know, I had to go to the red carpet opening yeah. for the piano lesson. I was just like having one of those moments of wow. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And then I come back and hang out with y'all ass <laughs> and, and get back to the hood and as your homegirl says. Who's here? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Whatever. I'm, I'm about to not be with you and your homegirl. Why are you not about to with me? You and your homegirl. Why are you not going to be with me though? Because I be feeling like you be riding the fence sometimes. No, it's not about riding the fence. Like, I don't want to keep getting burned in Marlo's fat. Did you just say that when basically Drew got burned from Marlo because of me? Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. It's the I, same I, thing. That's what I'm saying. As a group, we need to stop doing that. I don't want for you guys to feel like I'm not being a good friend to y'all because I'm friends with Marlo. I'm not going to let how one person feels about the other interfere with my friendship with them. And that's all I got to say. It's the times when I feel like you're playing down what she did. Yeah. That's when it annoys me. Marlo making a situation that is already tough for me, my family, our business. You're making it even worse. You don't see the pattern. She say something, then she come back. I ain't mean it over and over again. And the only reason why you were doing that is to gain attention for yourself. I cannot. And you don't see that pattern. The thing is, though, Candy, what went back to you was not what she said to me.
All right, so that was pretty much the sneak peek of this upcoming scene from Candy and Sonya on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, where Candy pretty much calls Sonya out for basically riding the fence. Now, here's my opinion on this. A lot of people were in the comments basically trying to say that Candy is trying to be a high school girl, a high school mean girl, and make Sonya pick a side. But I don't think that that is the case, and I'm going to tell you why. The reason why I don't think that that is the case is because she only said that she rides the fence. She didn't say that you're on Marlo's side. She didn't say that you're on my side. What she said was is that Sonya rides the fence. And what she means by that is she can call other people out on their shit, but when it comes down to Marlo, she's she's saying nothing or the very least. Um, and that is the truth. You know, Candy, out of all those girls on Marlo's side, Sonya, she has a better relationship with Sonya. She doesn't really have a friendship with Sheree, and she damn sure don't have one with neither Courtney nor Marlo. So the only person that she's really, really cool with is Sonya. Sonya is cool with Candy as well. I think that Candy is the only person in Candy's little crew that she's friends with because her and Kenya really don't like each other like that. She can't stand Drew. I don't know about her and so... The only person is Candy because she has went on trips with Candy. She's been in Candy House. Or their kids play together. All the other good stuff. So they kind of have a budding relationship. So when it comes down to it, um, I understand what Sonya is coming from when she's saying that she's not going to allow the relationships of the other girls to, you know, pretty much get in the way of her relationship with these same women. And you don't have to. But, but at the same time, though, Sonya, my issue with you is, is that you minimize the things that Marlo do. You know that Marlo be on some bullshit and you don't ever call her out on it. But let Drew be on the BS. Let Drew be on the bullshit. Let Kenya be on the bullshit. You're going to have something to say about it. You know what I mean? Not to mention, you were quick to call Drew a lap dog, but then you sitting up here being Marlo's lap dog. Like, you don't really stand for anything. And what I mean by you don't stand for nothing is, ain't nobody saying that you got to pick a side because we grown. You ain't got to do that. Just because Candy don't like Marlo, that don't mean that you got to dislike Marlo. But call a thing a damn thing. You know what I mean? You you can say, you know, you don't never really call Marlo out on her shit. Can Candy has called Kenya out many times on her shit. Many times. And they moved on from it. So when Marlo is wrong, you really don't say nothing. You try to minimize. You make excuses for Marlo and all of that good stuff. But you don't do that for nobody else. And Candy is supposed to be your friend. So it's like that is where the problem lies. And it's not about picking a side. It's not about you, you know, doing this and doing that. It's all about standing up for what's right. And I don't think that Sonya does that. She allows Marlo to run amok and don't never call her out on her shit when she be knowing that Marlo be wrong for some of the shit that she be doing. And that's just the truth. I don't care how nobody else feels about it. She be wrong as two left shoes about the things that she be doing and Sonya don't say nothing about it. She la just like even like even in certain situations like when folks, when, when Drew said something about Marlo, Sonya defended Marlo. But then when Courtney called Candy ghetto, she laughed and did not defend Candy. So it does look like you riding the fence. Like you was ready to tell Candy what the hell Courtney said, but you didn't say, you didn't have an issue with it when Courtney said it. You were sitting up there kicking your shoes laughing. So it's like, what is your point of even telling me? What she said in the first place when you didn't say shit when she said it in, 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 in when she was in your face, you're trying to be messy and come and give me a bone, but you ain't say shit when she said it. So what, what you telling me for? You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. You know what I mean? So it comes across like you really don't F with Candy like that. You really, really F with Marlo. You really, really F with Courtney. Those are the girls you F with. So let's not pretend like you really F with me like that. Just say, you know, just say we cool and that's it. You really don't F with me like that. You with Marlo, you F with Sheree and Courtney. Those are your girls. I'm not your girl like that. And that's that. Like I said, it's not about picking a side. It's not about taking a side. It's not about making somebody pick one. It's all about calling things out for what they are. You know what I mean? If Marlo is wrong, why not say that she's wrong, regardless of her being your friend? You know what I mean? That's all that, that's the way I see it. That's what makes you ride the fence. But I want to know what you guys think about that. Um, how do you guys feel about this conversation between Sonya and Candy? I want to know. So with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video, honey. And also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok, 
will be down below in the description box. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out of here. And until my next video, I will see you guys a little bit later. Rest in peace to my girl, Danita. Girl, you're always on my mind. I think about you all the time, and I love you so much. Um, I know you smiling down on me. With that being said, y'all, we up out of here. And until my next video, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later.